guys thank you for joining me today i am so excited to share this story with you it is called mog's christmas written and illustrated by judith kerr and this is a whole series about judith kerr's actual real life cat named mog that she wrote um, about 17 stories about so let's hear what happens to mog and here is Mog's family with some other relatives who've come to celebrate Christmas. One day, Mog woke up and nothing was right in her house. Everybody was busy. Debbie was busy. Nikki was busy, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas were busy, and there were too many people in the house. There was a jolly uncle and two aunts on tippy toe. Mog thought, I don't like it here. She went and sat outside on the windowsill. There was nothing to do and no one to play with. So after a while, she went back to sleep. Suddenly, she woke up. She saw something. It was a tree. It was a tree walking. Mog thought, trees don't walk. Trees should stay in one place. Once trees start walking about, anything might happen. She ran up the side of the house in case the tree should come and get her. Come down, shouted the tree. Come down, Mog. First it walks, thought Mog, and now it's shouting at me. I do not like that tree at all. And she ran right up to the roof. The tree went on shouting for a while. Then it went into the house. Mog stayed on the roof. Some white things fell out of the sky. Some fell on the roof, and some fell on Mog. They were very cold. At supper time, Mog was still on the roof. She must have her supper, said Debbie. Mog always has her supper. Mrs. Thomas gave Mog her supper, but still Mog did not come down. In the morning, Mog did not come down either. She had found a nice tall place and she was asleep. She was having a lovely dream. Mog dreamed that she was sitting on a cloud. Some white things were falling out of the sky. Mog tried to catch them. She was very happy. But suddenly the cloud began to melt. Inside the house, everyone was sad because Mog would not come down. They were too sad to eat their breakfast. Even the jolly uncle was sad, and one of the aunts cried. Suddenly there was a noise. It was a noise in the chimney, and then something came down it. It came right down the chimney and fell into the fireplace with a thump. <laughs> It's Father Christmas, cried one of the aunts. No, dear, said the other aunt. Father Christmas does not have a tail. Debbie cried, it's Mog. Mog had to have a bath. But then, then everything was lovely. The whole house was lovely. The tree had stopped walking about and had made itself all pretty. And Mog had three boiled eggs and some turkey and a present to unwrap. Happy Christmas, Mog, said Debbie. And that is the end of that story.
Thank you so much for joining me for today's reading of Mog's Christmas. I look forward to sharing many more Mog stories with you. So until next time, Merry Christmas and see you later.